I wanted these young writers to be in a place where the past is still part of the present. You cannot teach playwriting. There's no magic formula. But what some old fart like me can do is maybe help you find your own voice. I was just so excited when I found out that I was going to meet John Guare. <laughs> He's one of the greatest living American playwrights. Being a writer is what wakes you up screaming at four in the morning is the subject of your next play. He talked about how theater used to be taboo. Like this was the time when theater meant something. This is when theater was actually doing something. Over 1,700 years go by before there is another play. I wanted them to look at Rome, not out of their voice, what they were seeing, but to invent a person who was seeing something that they were seeing. When they say it's a play, what we're literally doing is making something that plays. We're playing with the situation. Yeah. There is a craft to writing monologues. Uh, I don't know how to do it yet. <laughs> he didn't want us to write safely, you know? He wanted us to take risks. I'm curious to know where you find yourself in this man. He, uh, he's not a bullshitter, if I can say that. He was very honest. Learning how to get into that place of chaos and how to get out of it. Right. And that's, what, for me, what writing is, is how, how you, you're painting yourself into a corner and then the story is how we get out of that corner. There's a wealth of books about writing and writers reminiscing, but it's not the same as meeting a real-life human being, a master. Good to see you. He was saying, I, I want there to be theater for the next 1,600 years, and this is my contribution to that.